want to just build a car that would be the fastest for the next two or three years. We wanted something to be the fastest for the next 25 years. I believe that we can do that because the big question comes in when you start talking about tire technology. The F5 weighs a little under 3,000 pounds. The other fast cars from Bugatti are well over 4,000 pounds. So I think their challenge of tire technology is different than ours. The F5 changes the game from the standpoint that we didn't want to just be a little bit faster than the stuff coming, the AMG Project 1 or the Aston Martin Valkyrie or the McLaren BP23. We wanted to be way faster than those cars. And so eventually when we get to that point of proving that point, hopefully those guys will be chasing it, chasing those records for a while. When you look at the car, what you see, this is not the idea of let's build a pretty car. I think it's very beautiful. I think it's very elegant while also being very aggressive. The idea of the F5 was to build the fastest. In order to be the fastest top speed car, we wanted to have the lowest possible coefficient of drag. So the Venom GT, when it ran 270, had a 0.44 coefficient of drag. That's pretty high for any sports car, supercar. Our goal was to get the F5 down under 4.0. We thought if we could be in the high threes, maybe a 3.8, maybe a 3.6 would be a home run and make the car significantly faster. So we've gotten it down to a 0.33. So that's a 25% reduction in coefficient of drag. That's like adding 25% of horsepower to the car. That's like taking the Venom GT and adding 400 horsepower to it. We're happy to unveil the Venom F5 here at the SEMA show uh, here in 2017. Why did we come here? Yeah, we'll eventually end up in Geneva. We'll, we'll have the car at Pebble Beach. But from a timing standpoint, this work well for us. The people from Shell Pennzoil are a very important partner. They're very much an integral partner of why this car exists today. But if, if you really ask me the reason why are we here today, it's because when I started in the car modification business 26 years ago, somebody from the Silver State race said, hey, you need to come to the SEMA show. I'm like, what's the SEMA show? And turned up and saw other guys like me that are making a living, making fast cars go faster. And so as I stand here now and I'm asked that question, I can't think of a better place to share what was my dream with all the other thousands, tens of thousands of automotive dreamers. They're all here.